Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Star of Coronation Street Claire Sweeney received a lot of love after sharing a mysterious photo on social media, and fans responded with well said. The actress is presently well known to fans for her work as Cassie Plummer on the ITV soap opera. After her casting was made public a year prior, in April 2023, Claire made her onset debut in June 2023. When Cassie found her mother on the street and learned that she was living with her son Tyrone Dobbs, viewers met Cassie for the first time. Meanwhile, the mechanic believed his original mother had passed away. The 53-year-old soap opera diva also recently disclosed that she has committed to staying at Weatherfield for an additional year. I've just signed my contract for another year in Corey and I'm really happy to fully invest all my time and energy into Cassie and see what develops, the former Brookside star told Cheshire Life magazine. The acting roles I've recently completed in Coronation Street with Alan Housall and Jenny McAlpine in the Dobbs household and Dame Maureen Lipman in the Rovers have me ecstatic. On social media, Claire paused from posting her glitzy photos and endearing family postings with her son Jackson and mother Kathleen to discuss appearance in a post. The quotation, attributed to worldwide movie star Sophia Loren, said, I'd rather eat pizza and drink wine than be a size zero, but she didn't write a caption for it. The first to react were reality personality Gemma Collins and co-star Sally Carmen Duttine of Coronation Street, who merely shared the raised hands emojis in the comments area. In addition, host Trisha Goddard reported, adding a red love emoji and asking, in it? In the meantime, Claire's admirers and following responded to her post right away. I'll drink to that, exclaimed at opportunities underscore and underscore life. I will be right by your side munching on the pizza haha, said at Natalia Salino in a remark. Absolutely, wrote at Grover Goodall. In response, at Nancy Hovenesian said, I adore the quote. Claire, you always look stunning. Added by at Charles Redart, well said. It happens after boxer Ricky hit Manhattan and the former Brookside star made their red carpet debut together. The couple, who first connected while competing in Dancing on Ice earlier this year, has been seen out on several pub dates in the last few weeks. They went public with their affair at the £365 million co-op Live Arena's grand opening night towards the end of last month, taking the next step. After posing together at the press boards for celebrities and VIPs at the new arena, they both shared pictures on their Instagram accounts. Fans of Coronation Street anticipate that Steve McDonald, who was dumped by Tim Metcalf, will return nine years after leaving. Following Steve McDonald's dump by his best friend Tim Metcalf, Coronation Street has speculated that a comeback may be imminent. Because of their hilarious banter, fans adore the duo, but if Sally Metcalf gets her wish, they won't be around much longer. The cab driver was devastated when his wife Tracy Barlow left him for his hero, former Weatherfield County football player Tommy Orpington, as viewers of the ITV soap opera are aware. Since then, Steve has started using dating apps, while Tracy and her new partner have fled the cobbles for Spain. For Wednesday, May 1, in Corey, he was spotted apprehensively setting off for a date with one of his matches. Arriving at the pub looking dapper, he was surprised to see Carol had brought some friends as well. Aurora, portrayed by former Fame Academy star Pippa Fulton, was one of the women. The actress and signer is most recognized for her time on the talent show in 2002 when she competed against future stars David Sneddon and Lamar before losing in the fourth week. Craig Charles played Lloyd Mullaney. June 2005 marked the first time he appeared on screen. The figure left in July of 2006 and reappeared in February of 2007. In order to film new episodes of Red Dwarf, Craig then took a brief hiatus from the program in the fall of 2011. Lloyd returned to the show in July 2012, having been gone for seven months. But in May 2015, Craig made an announcement about leaving the program. After 10 years, in September 2015, Lloyd moved to Jersey with his pregnant fiancée, Haley Tamadon's character, and left the street together. This marked the end of his on-screen career. To Steve's relief, Tim soon arrived at the pub, dressed for lunch. When Aurora saw Tim, she motioned for him to take a seat. When Tim Metcalf's wife Sally Metcalf arrived, she witnessed her husband joking and laughing with the slightly inebriated women while Steve kept his pal locked in his date. 
Shaken beyond belief, Sally had Tim go back home, telling him that he was a married man and that if he kept hanging around with Steve on his dates, people might start talking. Consequently, much to their dismay, Tim found himself breaking up with Steve later on. Some Corey fans have speculated that the scenes would pave the way for a nine-year hiatus return. Is Lloyd coming back? inquired at Jay Melee 1999. Steve needs Lloyd back ASAP, tweeted at Amondab278. At Kling 12349 foresaw Lloyd's return, Tim becoming envious, and amusing outcomes. Jane Danson of Coronation Street responds to the Emmerdale Star soap update by saying, We miss you. Star of Coronation Street Jane Danson may be in a rival soap opera, but she appears to be keenly interested in Emmerdale's future. The actress first appeared in the ITV soap opera in 1997 and gained acclaim for her role as Leanne Battersby. Leanne arrived with her stepmother Toya, stepfather Les, and stepmother Janice, but Jane left the cobbles in 2000, shortly after the horrific plot point in which her character turned into a drug addict. She made a second return visit in 2004 and married Peter Barlow and Nick Tilsley before the couple split up once more. She has remained in that relationship ever since. After Toya's terrible baby secret was revealed, Corey viewers have recently witnessed Leanne abandon her support for Toya in favor of newcomer Roan and the Institute. However, the Dales are not too distant from Weatherfield, and fans of Emmerdale were recently teasing them with a big episode. New information on the ITV soap opera's never-been-done dinner party episode, which featured two couples, Rona Goskirk and Marlon Dingle and Belle and Tom King, was just made public. The ongoing plot of the special episode centers on Tom and Belle's domestic abuse, and it features two distinct perspectives of the same dinner party. Meanwhile, Rona and Marlon's relationship has been straining since the birth of baby Ivy. Watchers will see Tom, James Chase, and his wife Belle, Eden Taylor Draper, throw a dramatic dinner party that ends with the guests departing after married pair Rona, Zoe Henry, and Marlon, Mark Charnock, get into an argument in Tuesday, May 7's episode. In order to present the events from Belle and Tom's point of view and provide insight into Tom's domineering behavior, the second half of the special will go back in time to the beginning of the dinner party. The first half of the program will center on Rona and Marlon's perspectives. Lisa Riley, who portrays Mandy Dingle in Emmerdale, shared the news on social media, writing, This upcoming episode of Emmerdale, which airs on Tuesday, May 7th, is not to be missed. The performances by at Mark Charnock at Sweet Ended at Just Jimmy Chasing at Miss So Henry are simply incredible. Written by the incredible Joe Maris and directed by the amazing Duncan Foster, she went on. You will all be talking about this episode. Hashtag coming soon hashtag Emmerdale at ITV edit Vex Offshore. Jane answered right away. Duncan Foster, we miss you, she exclaimed. I'm eager to watch this. In addition to working on the 2008 spin-off film Coronation Street, out of Africa, Duncan Foster directed Coronation Street from 2002 till 2023. He has contributed to 330 episodes overall, with 15 of those being co-credited. At the moment, he serves as a director on Emmerdale.